Hi Panda Parents. As you can see, I'm sporting my sweatshirt, proud past and bright future. We do indeed have a proud past at East Point Academy, and a big part of that is how we've handled the COVID-19 public health crisis. We kept our school open and our kids learning and growing every day. We couldn't do that without parents, we couldn't do that without students, we couldn't do that without great teachers and employees. But we also have a group of individuals that have helped lead us through the process. It's a working group that includes our board chair, Mr. Alan Butt, uh, who has uh, had a student who moved through East Point Academy, is now in high school. That also includes Dr. Mikey Perez, who's a uh, physician, an emergency room physician, and has students here at East Point Academy. And also Ms. Maudra Brown, who's a panda parent and a public health professional. Those individuals and I have met every week to talk about the best way to move forward with this crisis. And together we've made decisions which I think have made our students safe, healthy, and also growing academically. And now you're going to hear from that, that group of people to talk about where we are with COVID now. Hi, I'm Alan Buck, East Point Academy Board Chair for this school year. As Mr. Bounce said, East Point Academy has done very well this year, responding to the COVID-19 challenges. And we never thought we'd be here two years into it. But we've done well and we will continue to maintain our focus to ensure the student staff maintain safety and high educational requirements. We've maintained three guiding principles throughout that have helped us to keep the classrooms open and keep students in school. First, we've maintained a focus on the health and safety of students and staff. Second, the social, emotional, and academic growth of our students. And we appreciate all of the teachers who have been able to work through this to get us to this point. We've also been able to maintain clubs and athletics safely so that the students can enjoy and encourage their growth outside of the classroom. And finally, we must support our teachers and staff to maintain the high levels. To do that, we've had our, our leadership staff take on additional responsibilities, and that has allowed teachers to maintain the focus in the classroom on the students and the safety side. And finally, we want to make sure that you understand that the board remains committed to a safe and high-level educational environment at the school. It's been a challenge, but we'll work through it, and we'll get there, and we appreciate your support. Parents especially, thank you for everything that you've done to help support your students. As a hospital-based physician in our community, I see the devastating impacts of the Omicron variant every day. Every part of our state and community have been affected. Our medical facilities are currently strained as mostly unvaccinated patients are coming in for care. Some hospitals are actually delaying procedures due to staff shortages and increased demand for COVID patients. At East Point, we honor parent choice and we also want to make sure our parents are informed. We know that vaccinations are an important part of our toolkit in combating this virus. Vaccines offer a layer of protection from the most serious consequences of COVID, and that while vaccinated patients do have breakthrough infections, the symptoms can be mild. If your child is over than five, we encourage you to talk to your healthcare professional about getting vaccinated. As a reminder, those students who are fully vaccinated do not need to quarantine if they're exposed to COVID-19. They simply need to wear a mask for 10 days. This is perfectly aligned with our guiding principles of keeping our schools safe and healthy while continuing the academic, social, and emotional growth of our students. Hi everyone, I'm Margaret Brown, a panda parent and a public health professional working with East Point Academy. As Dr. Perez said, it's so important that if your child is eligible to get them vaccinated, fully vaccinated, it's just important and another, another layer of support for our community keeping our kids healthy and safe. In my position, I work with a lot of schools and a lot of organizations around COVID-19 protocols. And let me just say, East Point is doing an amazing job. They're consistent. As you can see, we've been through this for about two years. And I mean, it's phenomenal, the work and effort uh, that they put in um, for your students uh, and for our community. Uh, we're doing what we call a, a Swiss cheese model, if you will. So every layer, masking, ventilation, uh, hand hygiene and physical distance all work together in a layered approach to really protect uh, the health and safety of your students here at East Point. Thanks to parents for keeping uh, those
kids that are maybe not feeling their best um, out of school so that we can continue to, to operate on a five-day schedule. Masking is an important part of keeping our children safe. We love to see many more children. Uh, we're doing a great job of masking, but we really ask that you mask your students when they come to these morning time. Hey, parents, thanks for everything you do to help us. Thanks for all you do, East Point parents. Stay safe. Panda Parents, you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. Panda Parents, you are amazing. Thanks for all you do for our school. Remember to be nice and work hard.